You hear a lot about getting a college education, how people with college degrees earn more money, and some say that college educated people live happier lives. There could be some truth to this, or it could be because education is over a $1 trillion industry. But you do not need to get a college education to get a well-paying, meaningful job. I'm gonna show you multiple six-figure jobs that you can get in the federal government with no college degree and no certification. All of these jobs will be on usajobs.gov. And as long as you're a US citizen, you can create an account today and start applying. The first one is a security specialist in the Department of Army with a salary between $107,000 and $139,000 a year. For this job, you need one year of experience in physical security, coordinating protection activities, and operation security. This job is ideal for someone with a military background, maybe law enforcement, or even corrections. And you cannot substitute education for experience. You could have a PhD in physical security, that's not going to help you any because you actually need the relevant experience to get a job like this. And there's dozens of jobs just like this in the 0080 job series. Click the filter on usajobs.gov and search through them. The next one is a program specialist with the Library of Congress with a salary of $139,000 to $181,000 a year. For this job, you need one year of experience in planning and managing projects, identifying problems and interacting with others. There are literally thousands of jobs that could have prepared you for a role just like this. In this job, you're going to be drafting. You're going to be reviewing policies, coordinating with other offices. One thing to note with this job, it's in the accepted service. In the federal government, you have three services. You have your competitive service, your accepted service, and your executive service. So most people tend to lean towards competitive because in a competitive service job, you can gain tenure after just three years, meaning that you can be reinstated if you ever decide to leave the government. But all things being equal, I would go ahead and pick the job that pays the most. So if you have a $150,000 job offer in its accepted service compared to $100,000 in the competitive service, I would go to the accepted service. So keep that in mind. Another thing, this job right here is not a supervisor position. So you can earn over $180,000 a year and not have to supervise other people. If you have been thinking about getting a federal government job, you should attend some of the hiring events that they have virtual hiring events. I email a list every week. If you want me to email that to you, sign up to the free newsletter down below. The next one is an IT specialist at the Department of Navy with a salary of $82,000 to $107,000 a year. For this job, you need one year of experience documenting and developing new or existing software, testing or evaluating IT technologies and applying knowledge of database systems. This job right here, it's in Florida. And it's not just for one position, it's for multiple positions. It also falls under the direct hire authority, which means the hiring process is expedited. And if you're a non-vet, you do not have to worry about somebody with veteran preference bumping you off the best qualified list. You can still compete based on your merit, not have to deal with any of the other special hiring authorities, which can be appealing for many people. IT positions like cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, these skill sets, they're going to grow in demand, not just within our government, but in the private sector and around the world. Employers want this skill set, and there's a push to move away from the traditional degrees. They want people who actually have the skills, the abilities, and the experience. The next one's for a logistics management specialist at the Department of Army with a salary of $90,000 to $117,000 a year. The experience you need is one year of logistic management, maintaining records and analyzing problems. This position is hiring in Hawaii and North Carolina, a lot of different positions. There are jobs you could have held in the past. Maybe it wasn't titled logistics. Maybe it was titled operation manager or whatever, but you dealt with logistics. You participated in that type of experience. You can use that, get a job like this. Now, with this one, there's a two-year probationary period. 
And this is becoming more common with the Department of Defense, these type of jobs. They're slapping on two year probation. Most other federal agencies, it's only 12 months, one year. Okay, the next one is for a budget officer at the Department of Justice with a salary of 120 to $156,000 a year. The experience you need is one year of developing, implementing, and administrating budget and financial management activities, such as analyzing and evaluating financial management programs. This one is a budget analyst position, which means it's in the 0560 job series. And a lot of people have a background where they reviewed budgets, they inputted dollar figures within spreadsheets, but they don't think they can compete for a job like this. Many people think you need previous government experience, and that's not true. You just need to have relevant experience. The truth is all of these jobs are open to the public. You don't need to know anyone on the inside. You do not need to be a veteran in order to compete and qualify for these jobs. Okay, so how realistic is it to get one of these jobs without a college degree? You might think it's far-fetched or it would be very difficult, but I'm telling you every day we have GS-14s, GS-15s with salaries $150,000 a year, $175,000 a year, and they do not have degrees. They do not have certifications. The only thing that they have, the most important thing that they have is actual experience in the field. If you look on usajobs.gov, you will notice that only about 20% of all the federal government jobs actually require a degree. The rest of them, they do not require it. They do not even require a certification. And this number is going to decrease more within the coming years. Of course, there will always be certain professionals, certain jobs in the government that will require a college degree. These are jobs like nurse, doctor, lawyer, engineer. You can't get away from the credential and the requirement that's necessary to employ people in these professions. But if you're looking at administrative or law enforcement or IT specialist, it will be more about experience and less about your education. So how can you get one of these jobs? Your main obstacle will be the federal resume because you have to get past human resources. No matter how qualified you are, you need to get past that obstacle first. So the federal resume is essentially your ticket to the dance. If you don't got the ticket, you're not going in, you're not dancing with anybody. You need to get that part right. How can you get it right? Focus on your achievements. In the past, whatever you've done, Focus on those achievements and make sure that they're directly relevant to the job that you're applying to. It does no good to have an amazing achievement that has nothing to do with what you're applying for. If you're applying to be a training specialist, then do not hyper-focus on the time that you saved an agency money through budget analysis because they don't have anything to do with one another. After you have that part right, the next thing is consistency, is to stick with it. Do not give up on the plan or the process. Do the action every day, develop it into a habit. If you do that, ultimately, at some point in the near future, you will be successful. If you are still looking for a federal government job, it's really important to know the exact steps in the hiring process. What step are you at? What can you anticipate moving forward? How long will it even take? If you want answers to some of these questions, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.